ignore the pile of baby toys. We are in my car today for a very special video of hunting for physical media, and I'm gonna take you along to my favorite spots to find physical media in person. I've had this idea for so long, I just never really knew if anyone cared that much to come along with me. So if you're familiar with my other channel, my lifestyle channel, where I would do like thrift with me's and I would go thrifting, it's kind of gonna be like that vibe but i have some really amazing spots near me that i finally want to share with you and show you kind of where i find secondhand physical media mostly secondhand there is going to be a, a walmart trip in this video because i want to check out their five dollar dvds they also have some really good special edition horror movies usually so walmart's a really good place to look even though it's like a big box like big store and I don't love supporting that all the time so I try to get my physical media secondhand when I can on that note I usually go through thrift books because I don't have all the time in the world these days to like go out and hunt for it myself in person so thrift books is a really good option and where I got a majority of my DVD collection because it's really easy to just type in what you want and then it pops up and you can get it and it's usually used I think one of the best parts of collecting physical media is actually the slow curation of your collection it's not the thrill of shopping or that thrill of instant gratification. It's a delayed gratification process usually. You have your curated wish list of movies that you know you want and then you go out and you try to find them where you can. And to me, that part of the process is so much fun. Now, physical media is more important now than ever. So if you're someone that says, well, I just have every streaming service, that's not always going to be a guarantee that you're gonna be able to find things. Obviously, there are illegal ways to do things um but i'm not really in support of that because i love movies and i want to support the people and like do go about it the the legal way personally again no judgment but like that's not the route i like to go in <laughs> but streaming is becoming very uh limited these days there's a monopoly uh certain deals with certain streaming sites not everyone has every single streaming service and they get changed all the time so i think it's great to have physical media of your favorite movies because they can never take that away from you i've also seen a myth that dvds expire um after 10 or 20 years and it's like mine are still going strong if you call if you have them your collection in like a safe space where it's not exposed to moisture and things or like sun or the elements uh, I think they're gonna be fine will they last forever probably not but you're you got a good 40 years in there I feel like another reason to collect physical media I'm just trying to convince you to collect physical media because I think it's amazing and I think more people are catching on to it. With movies, if you collect physical media, oftentimes they're gonna have bomb special features. I cannot tell you, especially like early 2000s DVDs, nothing compares to that era when they were first invented. Those menu screens, the special features on them were unprecedented at the time. So to me, collecting early 2000s DVDs are really important because of that menu screen and the special features. Oftentimes you'll get full commentaries. You really can't find those special features on streaming sites, right? You're not gonna have a full commentary all the time on every movie that you want a commentary on. There's so many reasons why physical media is so amazing. So I'm just here to convince you of that. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorite stores. And today we are starting with my favorite store of all time. We're starting with the best store. So, you know, if you only wanna watch a certain part of this video, stick around for the first store. It's called The Cave. And it used to be the same people who run The Cave used to run this store called Dimple. And and that was the place for used media back in the day. And they closed down and I was very, very sad about it. But then they opened the cave. You're not even gonna believe the stuff that they have in here. It is incredible. They also have a whole clothing section, which is fun to sort through. This location, I really love their DVD section. It's so much fun. So I cannot wait to show you. And of course I'm going in with a list because you need to have a little bit of an idea of what you're looking for. Sometimes I do like to browse, but you can't look at everything. So you kind of need to, you know, have a focus as to what you're looking for before you go into the store. Cause it's just a lot, it's all alphabetized, but not separated by genre. So you're getting all of it at once. I'm looking for some foreign horror, which is really hard to track down secondhand copies of. I've been looking for these forever. The first one is Shudder from 2004, the Thai version Shudder. Uh, the original, or the original, the remake is fine, but the original is one of my favorite movies of all time. And it's the only 
movie out of my top 30 movies I don't own on DVD. So I've been looking for that one forever. Pulse from 2001, that's a Japanese horror movie. Again, I like the remake, but the original is just so, so good. Train to Busan, I recently watched and I would love to find that on DVD. Unfriended, I don't have in my collection. And I want Spice World on DVD or VHS so bad. I love that movie. It's so ridiculous, but it is 100% my childhood, so. And then I might browse the VHSs, um, but I, I just don't know because I don't have a player right now. I will eventually but for now we're just gonna stick with the DVDs. So let's finally go into the store. Enough rambling in the car. I just could talk about physical media all day long. So let's go inside. So unfortunately, they didn't have any of the movies on my wish list, which that happens all the time. And that's like one of the things about, like you wanna have an idea of what you're looking for, but then you'll always end up leaving with movies that you didn't know you wanted. But that's part of the fun. It's like you go in with certain movies to look for, but then in the process of looking for those movies, you find a bunch of other movies. If you just go in with nothing in mind, it's kind of tricky. And I totally thought that this, location was not organized by genre but all of a sudden i stumbled into all of the horror movies at once which you saw some footage of i could have sworn i mean i found horror movies outside of that section and the other thing is it's not very well alphabetized so i kind of had to look through all of the t's to try to find train to busan um, but they didn't have a very good foreign movie selection they had like the remakes which i already own pulse i'll probably buy the remake of shutter at some point um, but speaking of remakes Remake. I did get the remake of Dark Water. I'm trying to see when this came out. 2005. I think all the movies I bought today are from 2005. The original Dark Water is one of my favorite foreign films and I do like the remake. It's obviously not as good, um, but I think it's a beautiful movie and the nothing can top the original, but the remake's pretty good. Then I got The Cave, which the cashier made a joke like, oh my god, is this about my life here? Um, because I bought The Cave at The Cave. Anyway, this is also from, oh, this is from 2006. Okay, so 
they're not all from 2005, but I've actually never seen the cave, but I have heard of it and seen things about it. And I really think I would be into it, that I'd like it. It kind of reminds me of the descent a little bit. Um, so we're gonna see how close to that it is. And you saw, I took some footage of like the difference between the copies that you can find at places like this, because this is a blockbuster version, which means the case is very, it's much more sturdy versus the other case was very floppy and they do change the price depending on that. I prefer to get the Blockbuster version if I can because I just think it's a little piece of history and I just absolutely love the nostalgia of having a little Blockbuster sticker on there. So that's just me. Sometimes I like to buy movies I know nothing about or very little that I haven't seen um, if they're at a good price. And then the last movie I found was Cursed. Now this is a really underrated Wes Craven movie that I love and no one really talks about this. It's a werewolf movie. It's cheesy, don't get me wrong, but it's still really fun. I really like it. I think this is also 2005. I was trying to figure that out. I'm pretty sure it's a 2005 movie and I'm happy to have it in my collection because I don't have enough werewolf movies and I do really like this movie. So for me, this is a pretty good haul for one single trip to one store. So I'm really happy with that. Again, nothing on my wish list, but maybe that's where Walmart will kind of come in. Um, but that's all I'm gonna do for today. So I will see you tomorrow where we will go to some other stores. I have another like used uh, physical media place to take you, but I'm sure you have them all over the country. So it's not gonna be as special as the cave. <laughs> okay, today we are heading to Half Price Books. This is the second store I wanted to take you to. Everyone probably has Half Price Books around them. And obviously based on the name, of the store you probably assume they just have books which I will be looking at as well if I have time I'm very pressed for time today so we're gonna see what I can look at but they also have a DVD section so I'm gonna take a browse there and see what they have I feel like they often have a lot of newer movies from what I remember whereas the cave kind of has like a lot of random old movies so fingers crossed we find something at Half Price Books today. Maybe I can at least find a book that I'm looking for on my wish list. And yeah, so let's let's head over there. Like usual, I end up leaving with movies I didn't even expect to buy today, but I was actually really excited that I found Apollo 18. This is a found footage movie I recently watched and I'd actually seen, or I owned it before, but when I got it, the disc was gone. I think that was a thrift books purchase. Maybe I lost it. I don't really know, but now I replaced it. So great found footage movie. Well, I can't say great, but it's it's good. It's low budget, but it's good. And then this one I really debated back and forth, but I, it's so beautiful and it's one of my favorite movies. It's my favorite M. Night Shyamalan movie. It's of course The Sixth Sense. I already own this on DVD, a really old copy, but this is like in such good condition. It's a special edition. I don't know. I'll show you some more like B-roll and like close-ups of it actually, um, because I don't know, I think it's so beautiful and then it has really good special features on it. So I thought I would get it. It's only $5.49, so I thought it was worth it um, to replace my other copy and then I'll just get rid of my other DVD copy, which is not very special at all. But because it's one of my favorite movies, I thought I should own a special edition of it. They had a great selection of the Halloween movies and I really wanted all of them, but for $10 a piece, it's a pretty good deal for, you know, it being a collection, being multiple movies, I don't think $10 is outrageous, but I didn't really want to spend $20 on the Halloween movies right now. That's, you know, I'll keep my, my eyes out for cheaper copies maybe, or 
you know, just have that on my list for a little while and eventually I'll come across them. But anyway, that was half price books. I didn't find any books on my list, um, but yeah, they have a great selection of like newer movies like I talked about and a lot of Blu-rays as well. I almost bought a Blu-ray today, but I decided against it. I almost bought a rival <laughs> Blu-ray. Again, a great movie. Um, I love it, but I don't need it. I own it on DVD and that is enough. So anyway, that's it for today. And then tomorrow we're gonna head over to Walmart and I know that doesn't sound very exciting, but they usually have, like I mentioned before, good special edition copies. So we'll see if we can find anything there, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, it is our last and final day. It's the day with the fam. We're all at Walmart and Ryan and Fern are standing in front of the car right now. Anyway, last and final day of shopping for physical media. Now we're at Walmart and you know, it's not the most exciting place to come, but they do have a $5 movie bin. And last time I was here, I couldn't find it. So I'm really hoping they have the bin this time and maybe they'll have some like cool new releases i do buy newer releases new so like in 2022 when it was a really good year for horror i bought a lot of physical media new because i do want to support the movies in that way if they're older movies i do try to get them secondhand but anyway that's my little explanation on to you know when i typically buy new i'm still looking for talk to me but i've only found it on blu-ray so maybe i don't even know if they made it on dvd if not i will buy it on blu-ray because i do want that in my collection anyway let's go into walmart so exciting right i don't even know why i'm filming a little clip of what walmart looks like because it's literally walmart <laughs> always has like Shutter Originals on DVD too. Like movies I have never heard of. I'm intrigued, what is this? Only the Blu-ray. I don't think they made a DVD. This is only $20 for five A24 movies. down the aisle and I don't think they have the $5 movie bin, which is really disappointing because that used to be so cool. I think they might in another location, but I'm just not gonna go right now. But I did find Talk To Me, again, on Blu-ray only. So I'm just gonna get the Blu-ray, it's like $15. And I think I'm gonna just buy this because I don't know what it is, but it sounds right up my alley. It's a Korean movie that sounds just like The Martian, so. Okay, I'm gonna make this fast because for some reason it's all of a sudden summer, so. Walmart actually was pretty cool. We got some good stuff. I already showed you the movies I've intended on getting. We have Talk To Me on Blu-ray. Like I said, there wasn't even a section in Target or Walmart for the DVD of this. So I'm just assuming it's only on Blu-ray and that's fine. If it only comes out on Blu-ray, I'm still gonna get it. And then I did blind buy this movie called The Moon. I can't remember if I started watching this or not, but it came out in 2023 last year and it's a Korean movie. And like I said, it sounds just like The Martian. So, except it takes place on the moon. So I'm very excited. I love a space movie. And I think it was only $15. It was $13, I believe. But like I showed you, there were some really cool like glow in the dark editions of collections they always have really good collections of movies. That A24 box set was so good for $20 to get all five on a Blu-ray. I think that set's amazing. And then last little thing, we did get the latest Resident Evil video game um, because we haven't played this yet and we absolutely love this series and the Resident Evil game. So there you have my shopping for physical media video um, of the places I like to go to. Another place I like to go to I should mention is Goodwill. I think Goodwill has some good selection of DVDs. However, I feel like I've already found a lot of the movies they typically have there. That's the problem with owning like over 400 DVDs um, and movies is a lot of what you find out and about secondhand I already own. Like they have great movies out there, but 
I already own them. But if you're just starting out, I think going secondhand and going to consignment stores or places like Half Price Books and Goodwill and things like that, thrift books online, is a great way to start your collection if you're looking to get into collecting physical media. But those are generally the places I like to scour for my movie collection. Where do you guys shop? Do you have any cool stores around you? And what are you looking for? What's on your wish list right now for your movies? I hope you enjoyed coming around with me to different stores to look for movies. Let me know if you want me to do this again and make it more regular because um, I really love taking you guys with me. So I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I'm trying to hold this normal but my hitchhiker's thumb is really like... Maybe to hold it? This is like, look at, this looks stupid. <laughs> I can't hold it normal. Just, yeah, that's, that's normal. Okay. <laughs> is that the only thing? Yeah. It's like an effort. This is me holding it normal. <laughs> It's like, I forget bam. The <laughs> That's such a hitchhiker. It's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs>